Hello, Reformers, and welcome to a special feature of Hours Awakening. Now, Hours Awakening is a game that tries to stay as close as possible to the authentic 8-bit look with sweet pixel art, a soundtrack filled with catchy chip tunes, as you can hear, and so much charm it'll bring you right back to the NES era. With easy to understand controls, the game is easy to learn but tough to master, just like how games were in the old days. So this is going to be pretty, you know, pretty difficult for me, because I've not actually played one of these games in a very, very long time. So, let us begin the game. I've already played a little bit, as you can see there. I was just like, oh, I'm going to run around and have a bit of fun and see whether my recording software was working with it, and it was. So, without further ado, let's start a new adventure. The land of Awa was once a beautiful and peaceful place filled with vivid lakes, clear skies, and lush forests. The people living there were free, they took care of one another and together ensured the safety of the land. But one day, the peace was broken. Someone wanted Awa for himself, and a mystical being known as Vikar descended from above. Armed not by weapons, but instead driven by hate, he slowly began to enslave the people of Awa. No one could escape his reach. Vikar formed the protectors. Together they sought to claim the ornaments, which are said to give their owner immense power. The ornaments had always been in the hands of the people, safe from evil. With them captured by Vikar, all seemed lost. Under the demonic reign of Vikar, the people of Awa were helpless, and his evil quickly spread throughout the land. The village where the ornaments were kept was destroyed and hope was gone soon began a darkness that would last for centuries. But things are about to change. The people of Awa have chosen to fight, and from another world a heroine has been sent for. Wake up, Zoe! The eternal flame must be lit. Hello, Zoe. You are in the land of Awa. I am Saga, and I have brought you here to help us. Awa has been enslaved by evil, and we, the people, have lost our strength and courage to fight back. We cannot do this alone. You must help us. You are stronger than us, and in time you will uncover your true strength. You must enter this tower and go all the way to the top in order to find the magic staff. When you have found the staff, quickly make your way back to town. But watch out, there are many dangerous foes out there. Oh, thank you. Thank you, old lady. Yes, that's very good. Okay, so hello. This is, this is Alwa's Awakening, and... This is two years in the making. They've poured their heart and soul into this game. And you can tell. You can tell. You can seriously tell. I know you can't tell just yet, but I think you might be able to, considering... Look at this. Oh, yeah. That is that is nostalgia for you, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay, so here we go. Now, let me see if I can actually do this well, because you can't attack just yet. Yeah, you need to find your magic staff. And this is... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. This is the tutorial area kind of this kind of gives you a little bit of an idea how incredibly old school this game is because usually games will in this era teach you what you need to know to be able to progress and that's exactly what this game does and i like that a lot so here we go you found a magic staff when you hold it you can feel there is something really special about this item Use it with attack to fight enemies and to destroy certain walls. So there you go. We can't go anywhere else now, but we can attack. As you can see here, we can now attack with the magic staff. I am using the keyboard for this game, by the way, and it plays absolutely fine with it. So no problems there. And if you are interested in this game so far, then the link is in the description. 
So anyway, let's go and take out this guy. There we go. Thank you. And I thought I would just shut up a little bit because the chiptune soundtrack to this game is absolutely amazing, absolutely fantastic, and I cannot praise it higher. And oh, here we go. Yeah, there we are. Very nice jump. And uh, don't go down. Don't go in the spikes. Thank you very much. Okay, so what's this? What does this say? Right, Amber Sacalum or something along those lines. I think that is a save area. So we're gonna go and head in there. Hello. Go and light the flame in the center of this room. Doing so will let you start from here if your adventure comes to an end. Oh, there we go. There you go. We have now saved the game. And we can now make our way back. I actually don't know whether we should head into the Forsaken Valley and go this way. Or whether we should go another way. But this does have Metroidvania elements, so do bear that in mind. Alright, here we go. Let's see if I can take out these guys without taking any damage. Do bear in mind I only have 3 HP, so I can get hit 3 times before I die. Very, very old school, very retro. I like it. And we're gonna... Yep, there we go. Let's try and avoid that guy. I actually have not even been to all of these places. I am literally seeing these places. No, I've been hit! Ah, you can get health, by the way, from enemies. So we're gonna try and see whether we can get that. But yeah, I have not even been everywhere in this particular hub area, so we're going to be very careful about not taking any more damage. Obviously, I, as I say, we can get health from enemies, so we're going to try and do that, I guess. Now, this is, oh yeah, it's getting a little bit more difficult now, as you can see. Let's see if I can actually make this. Oh no, it's going to be embarrassing if I fail on one of the first jumping puzzles, isn't it? Oh, e okay. No. It wasn't. It wasn't about embarrassing. Yes, it kind of was, actually. <laughs> yes, it was. Oh, no. Uh, just bear in mind, I have just kind of gotten a little bit better from being sick. So that could be the reason why I'm not being extremely good at this. Anyway, there we go. Let's take that. Ah, here we go. Okay, so now I can maybe jump. Ah, no, I can't jump. But there is another little section down here. I have been here before. So... Maybe this will give us a little bit of an insight as to where we need to go next. There we go, there's a little bit of health. Ah, there we go, another save area as well. But yeah, this game also features a bunch of magic as well that you can use to progress. And obviously bear in mind that we don't have any magic just yet, but we're going to be finding some of course. Yes, left is Void Tower and the right is the Town of Westwood, and we're going to be going to the town Let's kill that. Yeah, thank you very much. Almost got hit. Yeah, that would have been pretty bad. The town of Mistwood. Hello. Welcome, Zoe. This is the town of Westwood. Thank you for coming to the land of Awa. You have been sent for because we are weak. You must help us destroy the evil that threatens our land. Go back to the cave just outside town and talk to the knight. He will open the entrance to Amber Sacalum. There you will find a green gemstone and a very powerful enemy. But before you go, enter this house where you can find a map of Awa. It will guide you in your journey. Go now, Zoe, and return when you have found the green gemstone and defeated the evil enemy. Well, thank you. Thank you, old man. I will attempt to do just that. Let's go into the house and get the map. You found a map. If you check your inventory, it shows... It now shows your location. Go on, try it out. Okay, so my inventory is... There we go. There's my inventory. So that's where we currently are, obviously, because that actually doesn't make any sense, I assume. And we're going to go and head back to where the night is. And I'm going to probably do that a little bit off screen. Well, it looks like I did not have to cut away for too long because we have now arrived back at our save point in the Forsaken Valley and we can now make our way to the warp gate, as you can see here. Oh yes, isn't this fantastic? Okay, so let's speak to the knight. Now that you have the map, you are ready. When you have found the green gemstone and the evil is defeated, go back to town. Now let me open this door for you. There we are. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Blue Knight. And we can go into the Amber Saculum, and this is when the game actually starts. So, we're going to be adventuring through a bunch of screens. This reminds me very much of Mega Man. It reminds me of Castlevania. 
and of course it does evoke memories, as the developers say, of Battle of Olympus and Solstice. So if you know those games, then props to you, because I, I am not very well versed in NES game titles. So let's just, yeah, there we go, get around him. I can actually avoid all of the enemies, technically. I don't think I even need to fight all of them, because, well, it's kind of pointless, as far as I'm aware. Okay, so let's jump. There we go. Okay, so now I have a key, and that enables me to open this. There we go. Let me get up here. I think I don't think this is actually for anything, so I can just jump on this. And then we can go down here. I, I, I think I can probably just drop, can't I? Yeah, I can probably just drop down. And now I'm being shot at from all angles. Okay, so let's jump across here. Ah, of course, I would get hurt, wouldn't I? Oh, there we go, I gained HP. I gained HP from him, that was fantastic. Okay, so let's jump on here. Gotta be careful of this. Everything is getting a lot more deadly now, as you can see. Oh, no! Oh, dear. Oh. Well, that actually didn't seem to be that bad. It kind of is kind of bad, though, isn't it? Yeah. I think I actually have to... Do I have to climb up there again? Oh, no, that would be awful, wouldn't it? Oh. Okay, well. Seems like I do. Oh, well. At least it wasn't too much of a failure. Oh, oh! Oh, okay, let's be careful here. Okay. Jump. 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 Nope. Yes, there we go. Okay, I made it. Phew. Okay, that was that was a lot more difficult than it had to be. Okay, I need to be careful here. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't even know whether I can avoid dying or at least getting hit by that. I think that's a little bit weird. Oh, well. I'm sure there is a way. Okay, so there's nothing down here. There literally is nothing down here? Wow, I came all the way down here for nothing. Okay. Okay, so it seems like instead of going through there, I can now go and save my game. Ah, I do gain HP from saving, so that's actually really nice. I thought it was going to be that challenging. I thought it was going to be very, very... Well, very, very difficult. So let's, let's just get that down there, block those shots from the eagle griffin thing. And we're also going to be using this one to cover ourselves a little bit here too. I'm hoping that we can actually get to the point in the game when they give you your first spell. I think that would actually be really nice. Okay, so here we go. Need to be a little bit careful here. Need to be very good with the jumping. Yeah, there we are. Very nice. Okay, now, do I go in here? Doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like I can go in there. So that's good, because I was a little bit worried about that. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, oh yes, that's gonna be a boss. That would not be nice. Not right now, at least. Okay, so let's get that and put that there. And then we can jump off. Fantastic, okay, so there doesn't seem to be anything I can do with this, because when you go to the next screen, it will disappear. So, I think I just need to go over here instead. There we go, and that's going to make that, and... Ah, uh, oh, yeah, I was going to try and get on the platform before it raised too much, but no, no. Not, not able to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go across here. I don't think there's anything down the ladder, so let's go... Ah, okay, so this is this place. Okay, so I've already spoken to that girl over there, and I suppose I do have to go down the ladder. Okay. I actually wonder what's down here. But this is the Metroidvania style of the game, because of course you don't exactly know where you're going, so you need to explore a little bit, and eventually you will find your way. Ah, this might actually be something. Yeah, there's a key. Oh, there's a key there. Ah, I got hit anyway. Ah, I really tried my best there. Oh, well. Yeah, not really used to these quick platformers anymore, gotta say. Okay, so let's get that key. There we go. And now, what do I need the key for? There must be a key somewhere that I need to... Well, I need to use. There we go. That's what we like. And maybe I can get down here. There's definitely... Yeah, there we go. That's what we like. Okay, so that's where I need to go. Need to go through here. And if I jump on this and then... Oh, no, I can't actually get up there. Okay, so I'm going to be attacked by that thing all the time. Oh, my. 
That's very, very bad. I'm very low in HP now, so... Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's what happens. That is what happens. No! Ah, oh, I can't believe it. Okay. So, let us, let us continue. Let me continue, please. Thank you. Okay, so, yeah, I'm back here again. But once we enter the spike room, I will cut back. Alright, so we've reached the spike room again. It literally took me about a minute, so it's not even that much time lost. <laughs> How? What? How are you supposed to do this? Okay, wait. That is... How am I supposed to do that? I have no idea. Am I supposed to even do that? Well, that's weird. Okay. Well, it seems like I may need to go a different way. Alright, so I'm trying a little bit of a different tactic here, and it seems like I have gotten onto the left side instead of on the right, so I'm gonna see what I actually can do here. So I can, I can do this. But I can't actually get up there, because I don't have the double jump power yet. I'm pretty sure there is a double jump power somewhere, but unfortunately I don't seem to be able to get that, so... That's gonna be... that's gonna be pretty bad for us. I'm hoping that I can maybe kill this enemy over and over, and I can potentially farm a heart from him. I'm not entirely sure if he's going to drop one, but that's the thing. I'm going to need full hearts to be able to get by these spikes, I think. So I'm going to try my best. Alright, so it seems like we have our heart that we now need. And see, now this is the thing. Usually in platformers, some platformers allow you to jump when you have just fallen. So if I, if I, for example, fall here and I press the jump button, it doesn't actually jump in midair. So those of you that are going to comment that, yeah, it, it that does not work, so we are going to have to try something a little bit different here, so I'm going to try this and that, and there we go. Okay, so now we have only one life, and this is going to be bad. Oh my, I have a bad feeling about this. Hello, don't shoot me, please. Uh, okay, he takes multiple hits, and, ah, two hits, okay. So he takes about two hits. Well, that's good to know. And uh, what's this? Aha, uh -huh, the green gem. You found the green gemstone. It glows with a mysterious light. You place it on your staff and it fits perfectly. Now you can hold up and press attack to create gemstone blocks. Every time you create a block it uses magic, so you have to wait for your magic meter to be refilled before you can create another block. So if I press this, wait a minute, there we go, I can create a block and then I can walk around with it and do all kinds of things and I can make another one and yes it's all fantastic so this is going to make things a huge amount easier because as you can see here there we go let's make one there and then go to the other screen because I'm great at this <laughs> there we go let's do that luckily the magic regenerates relatively quickly so I'm quite happy about that but now we can solve a lot of extra things that we have to worry about so that's good and we can make jumps that we otherwise wouldn't have been able to. There we go. I like it. Very nice. Okay, so now we can head over to the right. Or left, should I say? <laughs> yeah, over to the left. And yeah, I think, I think I can actually end this special feature off here. I think I've shown off enough of the game to be able to give you a good idea whether you want to purchase it or not. And I highly recommend checking it out at the very least. So click on the link in the description to go to the Steam store page, read out what's what's actually going on with it because the developers have a lot of passion for this game and you can kind of see why can't you because look at it, it's just absolutely an amazing homage to the games of yesteryear. So I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.